All right, today we're going to put this lead time 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter and wise lipo 4 12 volt 100 amp hour battery to the test making a batch of refried beans in the instant pot let's get to it you can see here we're drawing a thousand and forty nine thousand forty seven a thousand fifty watts we're going to go ahead and let that run and we'll see what, by the time it's done exactly how much electricity this thing is used So at this stage, you can go ahead and unplug the Instant Pot because it won't be using any more power. It's now going to do a natural pressure release. What I like about this particular uh, meter is that it keeps track of the total time used that it was actually drawing a significant amount of power, not counting the little 5 watts or whatever the screen uses here but uh, only when it was actual power consumption. So we used, for 19 minutes and 44 seconds, we were using approximately 1,000 watts, 1,025 watts, somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll go ahead and see here. We have 0.335 kilowatt hours used total for this test, averaging 110.3 volts. And the low usage was 219.4 watts, which is the minimum that it used whenever it came down, uh, when it first reached pressure and then started to um, build back up to hold that pressure. So that was the low. And then we used a total at the high of 1,055 watts was the maximum power point that this thing used, which is exceedingly high for a thousand watt inverter now, there was some discrepancy between the numbers between the meter and the inverter and i attribute this to the fact that this inverter uses about six watts of idle consumption that doesn't really register on the meter on the inverter itself so that wraps up our test of our lead time 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter which did exceptionally well running for nearly 20 minutes at 1,025 to 1,050 watts, so exceeding its capacity. I would recommend, if you're going to do that kind of a thing all the time, that you might want to consider the 2,000 watt inverter. And I, I'm quite satisfied with the lead time brand, and a 2,000 watt lead time would probably be a good choice, because I do feel like these are a very good value for the quality that you're getting here. It's a no frills sort of inverter, you don't have a remote or anything like that, but I personally don't need that sort of a thing. And of course, our WISE battery, which is a lithium iron phosphate, 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, which performed as the background to power this entire test. And it's been a great, I've been using this for a year now, and I've had no problems whatsoever with it. It's been a real workhorse. If you like off-grid and solar content, I'd like to invite you to follow me on my other channel that's dedicated to exploring DIY solar power systems, portable power stations for off-grid living, RV living, van life, and tent living. Yes, that's a real thing. Or simply outdoor adventures. In order to grow this new channel, I've decided to give away some really cool solar stuff at every milestone in our growth. Check out the link in my bio or the channel description box to check it out. I'll see you over there.